Barbaturex had a row of bony knobs along the edges of its lower jaw, which may have supported some sort of display structure. Surprisingly it was much bigger than a lot of the herbivorous ungulate mammals around at the time, and was also larger than most of the local carnivores, a very different situation to modern ecosystems, where even the biggest plant-eating lizards are still smaller than ungulates. Garden lizards have specialized adaptations to survive in their environments. They can shed and regrow their tails as a defense mechanism against predators. The detached tail continues to move, distracting the predator while the lizard makes its escape. It is known for its territorial behavior, especially in males during the breeding season. Males often perform head-bobbing displays to assert dominance and establish territory. Southern rock agama has some ability to change color, although not to the same extent as chameleons, of which the agamidae are a sister group. When a male agama in breeding coloration is approached by a potential predator, it will lie flat against a rock and lose the intense breeding colors in favor of more cryptic coloration. They sometimes adjust to living near urban areas and can even live in rocky gardens. However, the increasingly dense populations of domestic cats being kept as pets in suburban areas have unfortunately led to a decline in population. Mwansa flat-headed rock agama lives in semi-deserts and can often be seen in the heat of the day basking on rocks or copies. The male's head, neck, and shoulders are bright red or violet, while the body is dark blue. Males preferably have around five breeding partners and are highly territorial. Once a male has won over a female, the lizard will perform exotic head bobs and head swinging to court her. Philippine sailfin dragon is unique within the Hydrosaurus genus because of the confusion for the past several decades of classifying these organisms amongst other lizards within their same genus in their habitat. They are also very talented swimmers, and smaller juvenile lizards can run on top of water due to their bodily structure. They utilize their sailfin scales to do territorial displays in the presence of a competitor or a predator. The frilled lizard is largely arboreal, spending most of its time in trees. Its diet consists mainly of insects and other invertebrates. It is more active during the wet season, when it spends more time near or on the ground. It is less observed during the dry season, during which it seeks shade in the branches of the upper canopy. It breeds in the late dry season and early wet season. They face threats from birds of prey and larger lizards and snakes. When threatened, the species erects its frill to make itself look bigger. This display is accompanied by a gaping mouth, puffing, hissing, and tail lashes. The lizard may also flee and hide from its predators. The thorny devil is a medium-sized lizard with a unique and distinctive appearance. It has a flattened body covered in conical spines, giving it a thorny and intimidating look. It is an insectivorous species, and its diet consists mainly of ants. One of its most remarkable features is its ability to collect water from various sources. The skin between its spines has grooves that direct water toward its mouth. During rains, it extends its limbs and body to maximize water collection, and it can drink water directly through its skin. To survive in the harsh desert environment, its spiky body helps to dissipate heat, and it can change its body orientation to adjust the amount of sunlight it receives. When threatened, it may inflate its body to appear larger, and if the predator persists, it will try to bury itself in the sand to escape.
The Sulawesi-lined gliding lizard is a member of the genus Draco, also known as flying dragons. While they don't possess the ability to fly like birds, they can glide from tree to tree using their specialized wing-like membranes. The gliding membranes are supported by elongated ribs and extend from the lizard's body to the tips of their elongated ribs on both sides. When they extend these membranes, they create a wing-like surface that helps them glide through the air. While gliding, they can cover considerable distances. They use their tail as a rudder to control their direction while gliding, allowing them to maneuver through the air. Chameleons are distinguished by their zygodactylous feet, their prehensile tail, their laterally compressed bodies, their head casks and their projectile tongues. Their eyes are independently mobile, and because of this the chameleon's brain is constantly analyzing two separate individual images of its environment. When hunting prey, the eyes focus forward in coordination, affording the animal stereoscopic vision. The Parsons chameleon is one of the longest-lived chameleon species with a highest minimum age of nine years. It is particularly susceptible to the pressures posed by both sanctioned and unsanctioned wildlife trade and habitat fragmentation. Chameleons are known for their ability to change color, but this is primarily a response to environmental factors, mood and communication rather than for camouflage. They also have independent and solitary behaviors and are generally not social animals. Veiled chameleons are known for their impressive physical characteristics. They have a large cask, a helmet-like structure on top of their head, which gives them their distinctive veiled appearance. Jackson's chameleons are sometimes called three-horned chameleons because males possess three brown horns, one on the nose and one above each superior orbital ridge above the eyes, somewhat reminiscent of the ceratopsid dinosaur genus Triceratops. There is a threat of devastating impact of introduced invasive Jackson's chameleons to native ecosystems in Hawaii. Like all chameleons, panther chameleons exhibit a specialized arrangement of toes. On each foot, the five toes are fused into a group of two and a group of three, these specialized feet allow the panther chameleon a tight grip on narrow branches. They have very long tongues which they are capable of rapidly extending out of the mouth to capture prey, which is mostly terrestrial invertebrates and very rarely, plant material. Once the tip sticks to a prey item, it is drawn quickly back into the mouth, where the panther chameleon's strong jaws crush it and it is consumed. Laybird's chameleon has an obligate year-long life cycle. It lives for only about four to five months, making it the shortest lifespan ever recorded for a four-legged vertebrate. In their natural habitat, eggs hatch with the first rains in November. Their initial growth is rapid, and adulthood is reached by January, at which time they breed. By late February or early March, females have deposited the eggs which will hatch the next year, and the entire population dies until the next hatching. No other tetrapod has exhibited such a short lifespan. Armandosaurus explorator is an extinct species of iguanid that lived in what is now Santa Fe County, New Mexico, in the early Middle Miocene period. The fossil specimen is a well-preserved cranium with mandibles and parts of seven cervical vertebrae collected by Blick in 1940. Fossil evidence suggests that it was a blunt, medium-sized iguana that grew to about 61 centimeters including its tail. In general, rhinoceros iguanas are among the most docile and human-tolerant of reptiles, some iguanas appear to desire human attention, 
seeming to enjoy being petted as much as a domestic dog or cat would. Its only confirmed native predator is the Hispaniola racer, a large snake which has been recorded to give chase to juvenile iguanas. However, most predation of iguanas comes from invasive introduced animals like cats and dogs. Unique among modern lizards, marine iguana is a marine reptile that has the ability to forage in the sea for algae, which makes up almost all of its diet. They are the only extant lizard that spends time in a marine environment. Large males are able to dive to find this food source, while females and smaller males feed during low tide in the intertidal zone. They mainly live in colonies on rocky shores where they bask after visiting the relatively cold water or intertidal zone but can also be seen in marshes, mangrove swamps and beaches. Large males defend territories for a short period, but smaller males have other breeding strategies. After mating, the female digs a nest hole in the soil where she lays her eggs, leaving them to hatch on their own a few months later. Santa Fe land iguanas are primarily herbivorous, however, some individuals have shown that they are opportunistic carnivores supplementing their diet with insects and carrion. Because fresh water is scarce on the islands they inhabit, land iguanas obtain the majority of their moisture from the prickly pear cactus that makes up 80% of its diet. Being cold-blooded, it absorbs heat from the sun basking on volcanic rocks and at night sleep in burrows to conserve its body heat. These iguanas also enjoy a symbiotic relationship with the island's finches, the birds remove parasites and ticks, providing relief to the iguana and food for the birds. Green iguanas are one of the largest lizards in the Americas. Adult males can reach lengths of up to 2 meters from the tip of their snout to the end of their tail. They are primarily arboreal, meaning they spend much of their time in trees and shrubs. They are commonly found near rivers, streams and other bodies of water, as they are excellent swimmers. They have been popular pets in the reptile trade. The physical appearance of the plumed basilisk is striking, it sports a bright green color along its body with black and white streaks along its neck and back. This lizard is extraordinarily territorial and is known for its aggressive behavior to the extent that multiple male lizards cannot be maintained within the same enclosure. It is unique in its ability to run across water with speed and the method it employs to do this. It displays the behavior as a threat response, when fleeing predators. High speed is maintained in order to prevent sinking. The desert horned lizard has a unique and striking appearance. It has a flat, round body with short legs and a short thick tail. Its most distinctive feature is the crown of pointed, horn-like scales on its head. It prefers areas with loose, sandy soil, where it can bury itself partially to regulate its body temperature. When threatened by predators, it has several defense mechanisms. It can puff up its body, making itself appear larger and it often displays a side view to show off its intimidating horns. Additionally, when grabbed, it may shoot blood from the corners of its eyes, which can startle and deter predators. One fossil of Helodermoides shows evidence of having lost part of its tail, probably dropping it in a self-defense behavior to escape a predator. However, unlike the regenerating tails of many other lizards, the osteoderms of Helodermoides instead seem to have formed a thick rounded bony cap over the wound, preventing any significant regrowth and leaving its tail permanently stumpy. During the early Oligocene these lizards began to disappear, probably struggling to cope with cooling and drying climates. Depi's arboreal alligator lizard inhabit forests and woodlands, mostly in highlands, 
they are typically arboreal. They are considered threatened due to habitat loss, killing by locals who mistakenly believe they are venomous, or collection for the captive reptile trade. Slow worms are semi-fossorial lizards, spending much of their time hiding underneath objects, which is probably the reason why they lost their legs. Like many other lizards, they autotomize, meaning that they have the ability to shed their tails to escape predators. While the tail regrows, it does not reach its original length. One of the biggest causes of mortality in slow worms in suburban areas is the domestic cat, against which it has no defense. These reptiles are largely nocturnal and do not bask in the sun like other reptiles, but choose to warm themselves indirectly underneath objects such as rocks which have been warmed by the sun. Gila monsters have a robust, heavy body with a short, stocky tail. They are covered in bead-like scales and have distinctive black and pink or orange coloration. Their striking coloration serves as a warning to potential predators, indicating their venomous nature. They are slow-moving and ambush their prey, delivering a venomous bite. Once envenomated, the prey is tracked and consumed at a leisurely pace, as the venom takes some time to incapacitate the victim. They are not aggressive towards humans, and they are usually slow and docile animals. However, if threatened or provoked, they may bite and deliver venom. Only two skulls of Telmosaurus are known, and the snout region is missing from both. Based on the size of these skulls, it was larger than other Cretaceous varanoid lizards, approaching the size of modern monitor lizards. Its skull is flatter than most other varanoids. The fusion of two bones in the skull called frontals links Telmosaurus with other early varanids. Its vertebrae are also known, and the way they attach to each other is very different from the way those of modern monitor lizards do. Megalania is the largest terrestrial lizard known to have existed. Judging from its size, it would have fed mostly upon medium to large-sized animals. Some scientists regard with skepticism the contention that it was the only, or even principal, predator of the Australian Pleistocene megafauna. It had heavily built limbs and body, a large skull completes with a small crest between the eyes, and a jaw full of serrated, blade-like teeth. The youngest fossil remains in Australia date to around 50,000 years ago. The first indigenous settlers of Australia might have encountered Megalania, and been a factor in its extinction. Northern Sierra Madre Forest Monitor is one of only three frugivorous lizards in the Varanidae. It specializes in eating the fruit of pandan palm trees. They spend most of their time in trees, more than 20 meters above the ground, similar species spend less than 20 minutes on the ground per week. News reports emphasize that males have hemipenes, paired penis-like organs. However, all male lizards and snakes have hemipenes. The Nile monitors are highly adaptable and can be found in a variety of habitats, including forests, savannas, grasslands, wetlands, and urban areas. They are particularly associated with bodies of water, where they are excellent swimmers and can dive to escape danger. They are opportunistic predators and have a varied diet. They are active during the day and are known for their alert and agile nature. They are excellent climbers and swimmers, which allows them to access different food sources and escape potential threats. The Komodo dragon is the largest living lizard species on Earth. Adult males can reach lengths of up to 3 meters and weigh around 90 kilograms. These impressive lizards are carnivores, and their diet mainly consists of carrion, though they are also active hunters. 
They use their sharp teeth and powerful jaws to seize and hold onto their prey, they have venom glands in their mouths, which contain toxic proteins that can lead to blood clotting issues and lower blood pressure in their prey. While their venom assists in bringing down large prey, it is their powerful bite and the bacteria in their mouths that contribute significantly to the demise of their victims. They are solitary and territorial creatures. They are most active during the day and spend much of their time basking in the sun to regulate their body temperature.